Ladies and gentlemen, and others, this is Tosh Berman, and I'm here talking about a book. This book right here. Carl Heinz Weinberger, Photographs, Together and Alone. Edited by Ben Est, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, the spelling is E-S-T-E-S, an introduction by Collier Shore. Some years ago, I purchased this book. And this is uh, Carl Heinz Weinberger Photos, 1954-1995. And I have spoken about Carl Heinz Weinberger, um, I think last year on Tosh Talks episode. And I think I bought this book when I used to work at Book Soup many years ago. And now it's hard to find, and I think if you do find it online, it's very expensive, very expensive, very expensive. Now, many years later, we have this. Another Carl Heinz Weinberger book, a lot smaller in size, but equally as powerful. This book it's sort of two books in one. It's photographs, together and alone. Weinberger is a Swiss photographer who was born in the 20s, died uh, early 21st century. He was a self-made or self-taught photographer. Oh. He worked in a factory all his life. Yeah. And he lived with his mother. Oh which was also his photo studio as well. Yeah! And Weinberger photographed um, a series, well, uh, actually a lot of photographs, of, of a youth group or youth gang in Switzerland, uh, outside of Zurich in 1960. These photographs are unique because it captures a youth movement as it was happening. The teenagers, or young adults, of 1960 or 1959 had a very unusual dress style, sort of a mixture of things. And they had like pompadours, longish hair. They wore Levi jackets, but they sort of remodeled the Levi jackets and added badges and stitches of all sorts. And one thing really noticeable is they either wore huge belt buckles or they wore these um, very heavy like chain necklaces was images, it was a big image of people like Elvis Presley or Cliff Richard or Ricky Nelson. All American, well, Cliff Richard's English, but the rest are American rock and roll icons. And the women or the girls had teased up hairdo. So very much looked like sort of like the, um, sort of like a, a Swiss version of the Raw Nets or the Shanger Laws. And the guys looked like sort of look like guys who go out with the Shanger Laws. Um, Weinberger is an older gentleman who photographed these younger people. And these series of photographs are very interesting, specifically in this book, Photographs Together and Alone. There have been books focusing on this teenage group or this teenage gang, but uh, Photographs Together and Alone is actually a very unique book, one, because of its small size, Two, the photo quality is sort of like almost like newsprint. It's not like high quality photography book, but more like a newsprint book. Um, it has a more like a mass produced feeling to it, yet beautifully produced and a beautiful aesthetic of its own, this book. It's published by Song Cave, which is put together by uh, Ben S., who also edited this book, uh, who uh, is a painter and a poet. And he started this press sort of focusing on uh, New York School poetry, as well as somebody of, of great interest to me at least, uh, Raymond Rousseau. New short stories recently translated, uh, all by Raymond Rousseau, and, which is a, a fantastic book. So The Song Cave itself is a very interesting press. Uh, them doing a book of uh, Weinberger photographs is very interesting. Now, as the title mentioned, Together and Alone, 
It's almost two separate books in one volume. The together part is the first part of the book, and that is focusing on the um, youth gang in the park. Sort of making love, drinking, eating, socializing, hanging out, basically this hanging out. And he documents these group of people in a very loving and a very, um, I feel sort of obsessive style, almost a, a person almost sexually attracted to these people, especially to the men. And um, the second part of the book is Alone. Now that is when he takes a male model or a male figure back to his home, his, his photo studio that he shares with his mom, and photographs these men mostly, well not all, naked. And here it becomes sort of like cheesy 1950s pinup images, yet they were done sort of like 1950 or 1940. They're done in the 60s and in the 70s. Same aesthetic. And what's interesting is his glaze, his gaze over these, these young men. And there are all sorts of guys. Some are from the youth gang themselves. Some are look like older like construction workers or outsiders of some sort. Um, I'm going to presume they probably went over to a house expecting some money of some sort or some type of currency exchange for their time being spent being photographed. Um, these, I- these images are very intimate and very, um, very sexy in the sorts, but also very revealing. More revealing the photographer than the model, even though the images of a naked model. I feel this book... All those images are more about Weinberger himself, not about the, the subject matter. The subject matter are, is not really that interesting compared to Weinberger's image or his thoughts on these young men. And um, what's interesting, you know, I tried to find an image or a portrait or a photograph of Weinberger himself, and I couldn't find one. It's sort of unusual for a photographer not take a self-portrait at least once. And as of this time and moment, and I, I know Weinberger's work at least for like mm, 12 years now, if not longer. I have never seen an actual photograph of Weinberger. Um, all I know is that he was older than his models. Um, that he worked in the factory, of course. And a very, pretty much a working class Swiss figure. But beyond that, I know nothing else about him. He's sort of a mystery. Towards the end of his life, his photographs were known, and he started having exhibits and um, gallery showings. But he pretty much died right after that time, after he was discovered. So his whole life was basically living this underground of sorts, or this other world. And his world was photographing men in his studio, as well as documenting this Swiss gang of the early 60s. So the photographs in this book Together Alone starts from 1960, and I suspect all the youth photographs of them, of the youths in the park, were probably from that year, 1960, 61. But the, uh, the second part of the book, Alone, is probably from 1960 to 1975. There's one figure there who has long hair, looks sort of like a hippie, um, a dangerous looking hippie, but nevertheless, <laughs> a long haired hippie. Um, and Again, it's the portrait, these portraits expose the photographer more exposing the models. And that is what's so interesting about Carl Weinberger's work. So I really strongly recommend the book Photographs, Together and Alone. Plus, it has a very, very interesting introduction by uh, Collier Shore. She's a um, artist and a fashion photographer. And her thoughts on photography, and especially regarding um, sexuality, is very interesting. And it's a really good, excellent introduction to this book. And this is Tosh Berman. And I will see you again very shortly. Bye-bye.